What's good, everyone? Welcome back to another video. If you don't know who I am, that means you're new. I'm Mark. What's good with y'all? Go check out my other videos. Of course, go check them out. All right, I told you I was going to try to get a second video in today, and God damn it, I made it happen. All right? For y'all, I made it happen. All right? So, let's go and get into this video's topic. This one's going to be a bit of a shorter video because it's not something that I've hidden. You know, I've made a very abundant uh, it's going to be abundantly clear how I feel about, you know, national gun registries. But I'm going to go into detail a little bit what they are. I'm going to explain why I don't like them. And that's pretty much it. Who? Oh, that felt nice. I don't know if y'all could hear those, but that was my neck. So let's go and get into this topic. So what is a national gun registry? A national gun registry essentially means that each gun purchase from a store, you know, uh, a private transaction, uh, you know, wherever, would have to be documented. The government would have to, you know, have a log of all of these transactions, a log of where the guns are, all of these things. So what does that essentially mean? That essentially means that they will know where your gun is 24-7, 365, whenever they want it, they could come get it. Now, you're, I'm sure you're wondering, why would they do that? I haven't broken any laws. I haven't done anything wrong. Why should they come and take my guns? I hear you. I'm right there with you. But that's the problem, is that every government that has created a national gun registry has also confiscated the guns from its citizens. So I hate to break that to you guys. It's not necessarily something we really want, you know, in our country where, you know, one of the, the literally the second amendment is the right to bear arms. You, you guys see what I mean? It's something that, I don't know. I feel that people who are actually for the second amendment should, you know, understand. So I hear people say, oh, it won't matter to me. It won't matter to me. I'm not breaking any laws. It's not about breaking any laws. It's about the fact that one day the government may sit there and say, hey, I'm done fucking around. I'm going to come take your shit. And then they come take your shit. And then when they do that, there's nothing you can do. And they have, once they have your shit, there is nothing you can do. So with that being the case, I am avidly against national registries. I am 100% against them. Why? Because the government doesn't need to know what the fuck I have. All right? They don't they have no need to. I'm not breaking any laws, I'm not hurting anybody, I'm not doing anything illegal. So with that being the case, they have no reason to need to know what is in my possession. They have no need to know where my firearms are. And when I say what's in my possession, I mean as far as firearms go. <coughs> Realistically, they don't have any right to know about any of my possessions. Like, guess what? You see this? It's a Gucci wallet. They still don't have a right to know about that. <laughs> you see what I mean? <clears throat> so with that being the case, <sighs> lost my train of thought for a second. Sorry, y'all. So with that being the fucking case, I, me not wanting them to know about really anything I have, but them not knowing where my firearms are, what firearms I have, uh, you know, all of those things are, well, both those things are not, that's not like it's more than two. Both of those things are very fucking important to me. The main reason why is because when they, look, if they do know, all right, what's going to happen is it's not an if, it's a when, when they come and try to take it, all right, because I'm going to be real with you, I won't give my shit up without a fight. I don't know about y'all, but I will not give my shit up without a fight. So when they come and try to take it, if they succeed, that means I'm at the mercy of the government that just stole from me, robbed me, and left me defenseless. Now they can do whatever they want. They can implement whatever rules they want. They can do whatever the fuck they want to if they have our shit. And it all starts with that national registry. So that being the case, I kind of feel it's obvious why we should all be against it. All right. I, I don't know how else to put it. A national registry means that you are giving them 
the exact whereabouts of your firearm for when they come to try to take it. Uh, I think that's the nicest way to put it. I'm trying to think if there's really anything else I need to put in as far as this goes. Uh, let me see here. If I'm not mistaken, also, National Registry requires background checks for even uh, private transfers. So that's, I might be mistaken on that, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. And if that's the case, it's also fucking retarded. We can all agree on that. Ah, shit. Is there anything else? I think that's about it, y'all. I think that I genuinely believe that's about it as far as this video goes. Fuck anyone who's uh, not opposing. Fuck anyone who's for a national gun registry. And all y'all who are opposed to one, come subscribe to my channel, man. Come on. Y'all make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that bell. When you hit that bell, hit all. And because you're against the National Gun Registry, go check out the podcast channel, Adam's channel, Centerfire Podcast, Gun Nut TV. Y'all know what the fucking deal is. Y'all make sure to stay legal, stay safe, stay dangerous. Have a good one. Peace.